I applaud your mercy. Gascon's an insufferable traitor, but he's still an apostle. Lord Set always said we should take care of each other. Take this, and my thanks. Obviously, we need to recover this mysterious key. I don't know where it is, or what it does, but if Daedric princes intend to mount an invasion over it, we can't afford to let it slip through our fingers. Gascon insisted that talking crows stole the key from him, right? We should start with them. According to the constables, the birds started stealing things as soon as they arrived. I've never seen a crow before. Is that sort of thing unusual? Hmm. Well, the fact that they arrive so soon after you reveal the shadow is suspicious. But they seem more interested in simple mischief than anything else. Ask around the Chancel of Transaction. Perhaps one of our constables can tell you more. The sermons never prepared us for something like this. Perhaps when this is all over, Lord Set can write an addendum on what to do when talking crows and Daedric monsters come calling. Not until today, no. They're really quite beautiful. Aside from the mocking, and stealing, and, you know, defecating. I read that birds come in all sorts of colors. Is that accurate? Hundreds. Fascinating. I'd very much like to see more of these birds. For research purposes, of course. Introducing a foreign species to Lord Set's creation could result in all kinds of unforeseen errors and deviations. What? Uh, no, no, no. I have too many responsibilities here. And to leave set side? It's an absurd suggestion. No offense, of course. Clockwork City is my home. I have no desire to leave, no desire at all. Now, we have work to do, right? It clearly possesses some great power. Keys exist to lock and unlock doors, right? I assume they want to unlock something. We don't often rely upon locks, but I guess it's possible. Maybe an Apostle's chest, or some lower sections of the Incarnatorium? I really wouldn't know. What happens in the Cogatum Centralis remains a mystery to pretty much everyone. But don't worry. If Lord Set locked something away, no mere key could open it. Certain. I mean... I guess it's possible that... No, no, I'm certain. Saddle.
Go on, get out of here. We go where we please, wingless. Go away, or we peck out your eyes. Eyes? Ah, sweet, juicy eyes. Such flavor. Ah, tender bits. Vile beasts. Come to gawk at the birds. Just keep those heels spring-loaded, friend. The big one there nearly pecked an apostle's ear off. She said it was due for a replacement anyway, but even so, I'm sure it didn't tickle. <laughs> well, may Sothasil bless your attempt. Honestly, if you got them to stop bickering and babbling for even a moment, I'd probably slip a spring. Other than everywhere, the loudest gather around a tree just outside the Basilica. I assume those are the ones you're after. Now listen, they'll demand some kind of ridiculous tribute, I guarantee it. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I pity the factotum that has to clean his holy likeness up there. I've never seen so many droppings in one place. What, like the birds? No. We did have a Skeveton infestation once. Someone left the fabricator running, and it spewed out thousands and thousands of the things. The Apostles deployed clockwork cats to catch them, but then we had too many cats. Exactly. By the time Sotha Seal caught wind of it, the fortress was packed full of wind-up bears and motorized tigers. Quite a scene. The clockwork god destroyed all of them, except the Skivatons. I like to think he has a sense of humor. Intruder! Halt! Halt! Speak or be pecked! Spy! Stay back, spy! This tree belongs to the Black Feather Court. The Duke claimed it by law of sovereign roost. Look for shinies somewhere else. Go! Go! Spy! No talking! I know a spy when I see one. The Axox of Dross may share meat with featherless giants, but not the Black Feather Court. In wartime, only spies approach without tribute. Every bird knows that. Tribute? Yes! Shinies for the Duke. We demand a treasure from our enemy. The metal man who shouts at us, Constable Drados. May his tail droop and his wings wither. Snatch up his silver treasure, and then we parlay. Go! Perhaps he carries a treasure beneath his clickety-clanking clothes. Or maybe he hides treasure away in the stone nest called Cloisters. That is for you to find out, Featherless. Now go! Look who's back. Just couldn't turn the key with those birds, eh? Don't be too hard on yourself. At least you've still got all your fingers. I told you they'd ask for something. A silver treasure. Oh, of course! They want my canteen. <laughs> those daffy birds sent you up to a pewter canteen. <laughs> well, they can't have it. Sorry, mate, but I'm not... <sighs> Fine, but this had better work. If these vermin are still filching our tools and tableware in a week's time, I'll know who to blame.
Do you have our shinies? Speak, spy! Such sparkle and shine! The shouting metal man gave you this treasure willingly? Why? Ah! He quails at the might of the court and wishes to surrender! Yes! Yes, we accept! A fitting prize, this canteen! A key? Yes! The great prize! The shiniest lock poker! Our heroic knight of marrow breached the gates and claimed it from the clumsy apostles and our exarch foes. The featherless ones squabble over its whereabouts, but they'll never find it. Never! No. Only our Duke of Crows knows. You cannot speak to him, Crow friend, not without an escort. Find the knight of marrow. He is our grandest champion, sleek and strong. Honor him with shinies and sweet meats, and he may help. By a great waterfall, south and east, swooning like a lovesick dove, no doubt. Even now he builds his lady love a glorious nest, but she is fickle and he is foolish. Go and talk to him. He needs adventure. Enemy crows, the exarchs of Dross. They serve the shadow women and try to steal the great prize from us. But the Black Feather Court bows to no one. Our duke will rend their queen of chaff to pieces, and we will feast on her entrails! Shrikes! Weeping, featherless pale skins that swat and curse us! And their other servants also, black-robed cultists. May they eat sour meat and die! If you see it, you will know. No silver glistens and gleams like the prize. The Exarts and the Shadow Women want it, but it's ours now! Ours! The Knight of Merrow claimed it for the court! Ask him! How did you learn how to talk? We crows are clever and wise. Wise! We bend our words into sentences just as you do. Except we're better at it because we're smarter than you. I always expected Clockwork City to be a bit more hospitable. We need not the grease of luxury to find our secrets here. Still, you never tire of it? The smell of oil or the taste of gruel? Your mind must become a gear, a single constant winding in perfect regulation. Do not let such thoughts rust your mind. That's true, I suppose. No use crying over spilt milk. Mmm, milk. Quality and variety. Come see for yourself. this do you come to challenge the knight of marrow have at thee featherless foe if you be foe cast down your silly gauntlet but i warn you you touch this magnificent trove at your peril i gathered these treasures for my lady love and i would sooner die than let you take them what say you featherless the duke holds court in black feather castle i could arrange a meeting but can't you see? Heartache has clipped my wings. Lady Blightwing spurns me. My heroic exploits and shiny gifts only bore her. Mine is a tale of woe. Woe! You would do that? But how? I gathered a great hoard of glistening treasures and sweetmeats, and she only laughed. Laughed! Perhaps a different... Yes, a poem! A trinket unlike any other! The flightless oafs who live here in the fortress hid a great hoard of words in one of their stone houses. If you help me pluck the tenderest verses, I will take you to see the Duke. Follow me! 
The word vault is this way. This way! behind that door. I... Welcome to the Archibox, where all children of Sothis... A love poem? Oh, where to begin? I have so many favorites. Perhaps... The Song of the Axle. Or are you looking for something more conventional? Ode to Brass Lily might please you. It's over on Spool 19. By the word of Set, I am bound. Welcome to the... Just a moment. Category not found. Your request, love poem, does not... Dreaming. These carry flowers, empty cylinder. Thank you for your patience. This unit has generated an original composition based on your inquiry. Love, poem. Please claim your word form at school set. Poem. A collection of thematically appropriate statements and metaphors arranged in stanzaic sequence, including title and required punctuation. Yes, this unit has composed a poem. I hope it meets your specifications. May Set bless your labors. You need something? I'm sort of in the middle of this thing. Love poem? By the gears, why do you want one of those? I don't stray far from the mathematic spools nowadays. Feathers quiver with inspiration. Tell me, have you found a poem worthy of Lady Blightwing? Well, which one should I use to woo? Mm. Yes, perfect. Let's do that one. I can't wait to express my feelings in the sweaty, fat-legged, wingless tradition. Follow me to the machine district, Squire. You can finally meet my lady love. And the Duke, too, I guess. Away to the castle of my lady love. Take a breath and report. What's the situation in there? Grim, Proctor. Daedric beasts and shadow cultists control much of the district. And the crows, oh God. The sky's thick with them. This way, Squire! Come! Come! Varuni's auxiliary? What are you doing here?
First that bastard debate, and now the crows? Your taste in companions grows worse by the hour. Sorry, we're having a very bad day. You mean to enter the machine district? Why? Hmm. Normally, I'd say we should simply kill them all and take the key by force. But it seems these birds have a real talent for hiding things. Daedra and cultists tossed the district for hours, and from what we can tell, they didn't find anything. Fine. You can play their ridiculous game. For now. But I'm coming with you. I've lost enough citizens already. A word of advice. Don't let these Daedric pests push you around. We need to learn the nature of this key before it's too late. No! Your metal woman is not allowed in Castle Blackfeather. I forbid it! I don't want to go anywhere near your filthy castle vermin. Let's get this over with. Keep your sword arm wound tight. Daedra could still be lurking around here. Cruel mother, help me. My fair maiden of ruin, my heart swells to see you, like a dead cat's belly warmed by the sun. My passions burn with forbidden desire. Love, given cruel voice by the charred flesh of my enemies? Charred flesh? Burning passions? It's all true, my dearest love. I would feed you the flesh of a thousand burnt carcasses if you would only give me the chance. Of course, Sir Knight. How could I refuse such honeyed words? I feel a swoon coming on. She said yes! I owe you a debt, crow friend. Duke! Duke! May I present the featherless poet? Approach, poet! Let me get the measure of you. Hail, crow friend! To my great knight of marrow. You come to parley? What boon do you seek from the Black Feather Court? The shiniest? The great prize? Outrageous. What could you possibly offer us that rivals the luster of the magnificent Lock Poker? Speak quickly! Speak! You would take up the Black Feather banner? Tempting. The Exarchs use wingless allies to shoot down my vassals and scatter my treasures. But if we had a giant of our own... Very well. I accept! The Exarchs of Dross hate us. They envy our fine plumage and covet our gleaming treasures. I parlayed with her leader before, the Queen of Chaff. She thinks that Deidre will reward her for loyal service, but we know that's not true. Not true! Eons in crow time. But the Blackfeather Court will not be intimidated by these grackles. My knights will pluck the Queen's vain feathers and leave her to flop about like a fledgling. Through a pool of shadow, we heard the call of our mistress and obeyed. But once we saw this great sea of treasures, we decided to revolt. The Duke of Crows does as he pleases. This city of shimmering prizes belongs to us now. I have heard this name, Sothasil, a dead king. A soon dead king, I've heard it said. It makes no difference. The Black Feather Court claims this place. It's ours. Ours! I know only that he's a half-metal giant who hides in a buzzing nest deep within the city. And that the Exarchs and their featherless allies want him dead. But how does this help the war effort? Enough talk. Go! Go! The Exarchs of Dross hate us. They envy our fine plumage and covet our gleaming treasures. I parlayed with their leader before, the Queen of Chaff. She thinks that Deidre will reward her for loyal service, but we know that's not true. Not true! Retreat! 
thick legged filth. We'll pet your eyes. Ah! Its arms will be the death of us. Fly! Fly! Lead on, Crow. Squire, the Exarchs are in full retreat. Look how they claw like chicks and empty their bowels. The time has come for a counterattack. Prepare for your greatest challenge, Crow friend, the motionless guardian. Yes, yes, the flightless cultist summoned it to guard their treasures. The guardian stands like a mountain of brass and fury. We cannot approach it, but as a featherless giant, you might be immune to its gaze. Behold, Blackfeathers! Our giant prepares to destroy the Guardian! Motionless guardian. Strike true, crow friend. Tremble, guardian. Our giant approaches. I'll wait for you here. I've chased enough birds for one day. Victory! We pick the bones clean and plunder the Exarch's horde. A proud day for the Blackfeather court. Now, the Queen of Chaff sent an emissary requesting a parley. I have a plan to scare her off for good. I need your help. I know what I said, fledgling! We've not defeated the Exarchs yet. Even now, they clean their plumage and sharpen their beaks. Unless we break the will of the queen, they will always return. This will be your last task. I swear it! Swear! A trick! A bluff! A great crow scheme! Meet me in a building called Incarnatorium. I will explain all.
Queen of Chaff will arrive shortly. We must stun her with my magnificence. Are you ready? Look around. I picked this place for a reason. Pulley and pushy contraptions abound. When a city's wingless servants... Yes, exactly. A performance. My legs, while svelte and regal, are not strong enough to push and pull these levers. I need you and your meaty hands. When the Exarch's queen witnesses my powers, she will take wing and never return. Of course not! No more time to plan. The queen's entourage approaches. Hide yourself! Hide! Hide! Oh, Duke. You came alone? <laughs> Foolish. This may be easier than I thought. Show me the key or my murder will tear you apart. You are the fool, Chaff Queen. I wield the power of the machines now. You expect me to believe that? Give me the key or we'll peck you to ribbons. Behold! have a complication. My, my. This would be much easier if you had feathers. I have, kind of. I hid the great prize nearby. But in your zeal to impress me, you threw the wrong switch. Now the door leading to the shiniest is blocked. Blocked! I can fly through, but you will need north. I will dispatch my proud knight of marrow to accompany you. Good luck. Me, crow friend, the shiniest treasure awaits. All these clicky clanky lizard monsters. Good thing they're caged, right?
Our victory over the Exarchs came at great cost. Quill and Claw, our lost knight was a true hero. We will not forgive, and we will not forget. I do not know which lock the Shadow plans to poke with the key he stole, but we will help you stop him. Yes! You are as much a member of this court as any crow. Our swift wings and keen eyes are at your disposal. Find the shadow of Sotha Sea, claim the key he stole, and avenge my knight of marrow! You look haggard. What happened in there? The skeleton key? Nocturnal's key? Damn it. I always suspected, but hoped it wasn't true. That key is a trans-dimensional artifact of unimaginable power. We have to get it back. The Omnivox alarm. Slag it! Someone's breaching the Cogitum Centralis. I have to get back to the Basilica. Meet me there! What part of Sealed don't you understand? The Shadow put a hex on the lift. Perhaps if we had the key you managed to lose? Here we go again. I told you before, Lord Set would never allow the skeleton key you to You arrived just in time. I don't know how much more of Devaith and Varuni's bickering I could take. Explain it to me. Just be sure to use small words. I wouldn't want you to strain yourself. It's as I feared. The Shadow breached the Cogitum Centralis. Lord Set's seat of power. If it reaches the core, if it removes Lord Set from the throne aligned, we can't let that happen. You should steel yourself for the battles ahead. We arrive too late. As soon as the shadow of Sotha Seal claimed the skeleton key, it slithered into the fundament and sealed all the doors leading to the Cogitum Centralis. Fear and Varuni tried to break the seal. You can see how that turned out. None. Lord Set designed the Cogitum to be virtually impenetrable. Even so, these whispering shadow cultists move through the city unhindered. I don't know how. Perhaps if we discover how they navigate the city, we can use that against them. Hmm. I crossed staves with an Argonian mage once. He could leap through shadows, crossing long distances in seconds. Maybe that's the answer? Shadow portals of some kind? We need more information. Inside perspective. We have that bastard Gascon jailed in the East Wing. He spent most of his time sulking, but he might speak to you. You did spare his life, after all. Ask him about this shadowy pool you described. If there are others like it, we need to know. Of sorts. Our legal system is pretty rudimentary, mostly because we use it so rarely. Infractions result in exile most of the time. But this business with Gascon and Clavicus Vile is a good deal more serious than research sabotage or plagiarism. Not always. Sometimes we mind lock them in one of our rumination chambers. I suspect that's what awaits our former chancellor. If we make it through this alive, of course. Cognitive prison. 
We induce a coma and set the brain on a recursive loop, trapping the condemned in an inescapable mental space. As far as I know, we've only done it 12 times. Better than a summary execution. Remember, I grew up in the Riemann military. Brain jail sounds pretty lenient to me. Only what I read in the Imperial histories as a student. Our libraries don't carry any literature on Daedra or their relics. I argued against the ban, but the Congress wouldn't budge. They don't understand how dangerous these creatures can be. Daedric princes litter the world with profane relics, artifacts meant to corrupt or ensorcel the greedy and weak-minded. Hermaeus Mora offers a book. Periite grants a shield. Nocturnal is more generous. She provides a mask, a bow, and a key. 